What's going on you guys? Dylan Forsberg here with T&D Realty and today we're hitting Noda. I don't know what's more exciting, the, the fantastic painting behind me or the local breweries here that are fantastic. If you're looking for a place that is quiet, 20 minutes away from the heart of Queen City and ultimately has some great eats, this is the place for you. So today we're going to be diving in, taking a look at some of the areas here, some of the artwork and diving into talking to actually some of the locals here to see what they think about Noda. We'll see you in the video. Noda is located just north of Uptown and it gets its name from a street that runs directly through the neighborhood, North Davidson. Whether you're looking for craft beer, award winning food, custom gifts, tattoos, you're going to find it here in Noda. They're really big on promoting local art and small businesses and you'll see art throughout this entire video. And we're going to go check out a few of our favorite businesses here in Noda as well. Dude. I get it. Maybe too. This guy on camera. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> oh my God. Woo! Got it. Hoppa. All right, so let's talk about what there is to do here in Noda. There are many different things to do from award-winning food and restaurants. We're out in front of the Goodyear House, which is my favorite restaurant here. We just ate there and it was absolutely phenomenal. If you come here, I recommend getting the Goopy Burger. And something that they do is really cool is that you can add five extra bucks to your tab and they'll give a round to the kitchen crew, which is awesome. If you're looking for great craft beer, I really recommend Noah, Noda Brewing Company. The Hop, Drop, and Roll is their best IPA. And then also just walking up and down North Davis and there's many pop-up shops, farmers markets, and there's some great nightlife with all the bars that are around. So let's go ahead, we'll pop over to Dylan now and see what really goes on here in Noda when it comes to the demographics. Let's talk demographics. When it comes to the amount of people that live in Noda, we got just under 5,000 people with a median age of about 33 years old. Now, the homes that you're gonna see when you come to Noda, you're looking for homes that are built in the 1900s that have been renovated to modern standards and you also have new development. When you look at these homes, roughly around the cost to purchase them, about $550,000. So if we're not looking for a new, newly built home around that price range, the rental cost here is roughly under 1,400. So if you're looking for a quiet, you know, place about 20 minutes from the heart of Queen City, this is the place for you. All right, we're here with? Shannon Klein. Shannon, it's a pleasure to meet you. So we're asking the locals here at Noda what their favorite thing is about Noda. So what would be your favorite thing? So my favorite thing would be all the art that's here. We love that. Um, we love just the atmosphere of walking around and seeing all kinds of new things. Wonderful, I completely agree. I completely agree. <laughs> if there was one thing you could change about Noda, what would that be? The traffic. And I don't know how we would do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. They've been working on that one for years. What's your favorite restaurant to go to? Ours is Benny's. Tell me a little bit more about it. It's the, they have the biggest pizzas you've I've ever seen. I mean, we've even put it up to like our heads, and it's been huge. Um, we love uh, the the atmosphere of it. You go in, you get to meet everybody. It's you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Benny's is where we need to go. Benny's is where we need to go. Hey, well, we appreciate it. We won't take up too much of your time. You have a great rest of your day. Okay. Okay. I'm here with Alex. All right. Pleasure to meet you, Alex. Now, what would you say is your favorite thing about Noda? Uh, definitely the community. Mm -hmm. um, the community, everybody, you know, definitely shows love and supports each other and, and, you know, helps each other when, you know, when and where possible. It's definitely a tight sense of community out here. I love that. That's awesome. Now, if you're going to change something about Noda, what would you change? Um, 
Honestly, I love Noda. I wouldn't really change it. I'm a, I'm one of the street vendors. I don't actually live here, but mm -hmm. like we get love from the people who live here. We get love. From people come and shop with all the street vendors every weekend, and it's just a, you know, it just a, it's a gathering place for people in the city who want to walk around and you know drink and shop, and it's kind of like a one stop, you know, one stop shop. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So if we were here visiting and we didn't know where to go to eat, where would you recommend for us to go get a bite to eat? Uh, I would plug Salud. Uh, it's a good brewery. They do got some good craft beers, good pizza. Okay. Yeah. All right, perfect. Now, what do we got going on behind us here? So you're selling t-shirts? Yeah, this is our shop. Uh, we got a local vintage shop. It's called Speakeasy. Um, we come out here every Saturday and Sunday, and our shop is open Thursdays and Fridays, but Saturday and Sunday, we're out here for the people, you know, just interact, take yeah. advantage of the foot traffic, grab some food, some beers. Um, every Saturday and Sunday, we're here in front of Protagonist, best brewery in the area come through best brews best prices perfect and can people find you on social media yeah you can find us on social media speakeasy 704 perfect well we appreciate your time no today appreciate great you. meeting you no doubt. all right guys we're here with Titus all right Titus well we're asking the locals here what their favorite thing is about Nona what would yours be I feel like the community it's always artistic something one of one is always going on just something so different you know it's always unique full I, of interests I always wonder when they actually put the art up I never see them actually be painting but that's the art is beautiful that's the right. art is beautiful artists always do it in secrets that's right that's, that's right cool. magic that's right that's right now is there's one thing you could change about the area what would that be better Italian restaurants so we got two none of them even have good slices I'm talking I got a genuine Italian wife and she's hitting me up left and right with good slices so let's get that popping we need good slices I, I agree it's all about the slice it's all about that's the slice. it that's it one one slice at a time and you know what what's your when we're talking about slices what's your favorite restaurant here in Noda I really genuinely appreciate Roy's that's good Caribbean food I, I mean to the core you can't go wrong and then you got Haberdish Haberdish is just every piece in the menu it's good and then of course I mean it's, you can't go wrong. There's the variety is crazy. That's what I love about it is the variety. But genuinely, Haberdish, can't miss. Local Loaf. People need to know a little bit more about that. Local Loaf is more of a breakfast brunch. They open early. They close early. But I tell you what, every single item on that menu, you cannot go wrong. And that's a promise. You heard it here first. The Local Loaf. By well, Titus. That's Come it. On. By Titus. We appreciate it, man. Have a great rest of your you day. You too. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted when our next video drops. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. And if you have a real estate need or looking to move here to Charlotte, you can email us at info at tdl-entertainment.com. We would love to be your real estate resource and we'll see you in the next video.